Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I just released the video I'm making this thing here and um, the design for this has been on my you know to-do list for years actually. Uh, the first design for this corner clamp was a lot different from this and I made a couple of um, prototypes over the years, you know, mock-ups basically, just to test out different ideas. But this is the winning one here for, you know, stock up to around three inches. Okay, it's going to get it clamped. And the big benefit of this is that the clamping action is actually out here where it needs to be put on the... Um, on the miter itself. So this block here, it can slide back and forth. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> I did this in a bit of a rush and I didn't, um, I didn't cut the slots on the back. Hang on, let me just tighten this up. Here, I'll show you, look. It's loose in there, I can take it out. Okay, you put it in there and now you tighten it up. And it puts pressure right across the miter which is where you need it, in a miter, right? So anyway, yeah, I made this one. I didn't, I think I got these reversed actually, like the length of the slot. So, you know, it should have been further back here. I changed it on the plan. I actually made it correct on the plan. I think it was correct on the plan to begin with, but I gave it a little bit extra um, because I did this in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> I started, I started making this actually on Friday afternoon and finished it yesterday morning and then I quickly edited the video and released it this morning because I took most of last week off. I do that every once in a while. I take a few days off. Now when I say I'm taking days off that means that I'm not actively deep into something. But I'm still into things, so, like, there's no escaping this. It's like the Mafia. Once they've got you, they've got you. It pulls you back in. Every time you try to get away from it, it pulls you back in. Because you're going to keep watching it, right? So, uh, I took a few days off, so I, I did this up quickly, knowing that I could. Uh, the way I filmed it was in that dark style. I just did that because... You know, while you're making thousands of videos, you get bored with stuff. So, you know, you want to mix it up every once in a while. Make it a little bit more interesting. And, you know, I shut the lights off and I use this. I pointed it this way and that way to get the right shadows and look. And that was that. And, uh, you know, some people like that and some people don't. Some people, you know, like a, a video. A lot of people, actually like a video with no narration this sweatshirt i gotta get new sweatshirts but you know what the problem with sweatshirts is i can't find one that's mostly cotton this is mostly cotton okay and, and the thing about mostly cotton is it doesn't attract sawdust i've got a newer newer sweatshirts they're all they have too much uh, polyester in them or rayon or whatever it is the man-made stuff okay it attracts the sawdust like glue like flypaper. You're walking around, you look like flypaper with the sawdust stuck to you. And it takes one cut on a table saw, you cover here across the midsection <laughs> with woolies that will not brush off. Okay, so yeah, if you know good sweatshirts, they don't have to be hooded, they don't have to be zip front, they could be pullover type ones that are mostly cotton. And now don't go on Amazon and pick out one, you know, f search for one that's mostly cotton and say, look, here's one. Here. Anyone can do that. <laughs> I can do that myself. But if you have personal experience with this or that, leave it in the comments. Recommend. Anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah, I filmed it with the, um, with the lights off, basically, just to make it a little bit more different for something. Something different for me to do. Something, you know, out of the ordinary. Because this all gets to be very ordinary. Right? And in the meantime, when I took, a, when I took that, uh, those few days off, I took it off mainly because of the bandsaw. 
Not the bandsaw itself, but the plans for the bandsaw. I talked about the plans for the bandsaw in the last video here and how I really don't like making plans anymore. And, you know, this is complex. So that's even making it less desirable and causing me some stress about getting it done. So, <clears throat> like my original plan was to, to do the plans a certain way. And I was actually thinking about, because I'm gonna be doing this in a multi-part uh, series, I have four videos, I think, on building the bandsaw. The first one will be the frame. I was thinking about making the plans, like breaking the plans up into sections. The first one would be the frame. So that section of the plan covers that section of the build only. Like all the parts will be detailed, all the assembly will be detailed, like I normally do in my plans. If you're familiar with my plans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so the first part of the plan will be the frame, and I was thinking I would make that free, actually, to go with that first build article on making the frame. So I'd need to get that complete, that section of the plan complete. And the idea there is not that someone would, you know, get that plan and start building it. The idea is that they would get the, like have the opportunity to look the plan through to see if it's for them before they, you know, commit to buying the plans, the full plans when they're ready, which won't be a big, like it won't be a big expense anyway. I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks <laughs> at the most for that because you know, if you make them too cheap, everybody buys them. And then some people don't actually buy them because they think, okay, why, like, what am I getting here for $10? That can't be, this can't be good plans for $10. So, you know, you gotta have to <clears throat> hit that point where people will buy them, where it's not an expensive thing, and it's not too cheap, where people say, well, why is he giving these away, basically? You know, so that's what I was thinking about for that. And we'll see if I do that. I got another, I gave myself <laughs> another week of breathing room by doing this. And uh, I'm gonna try not to blow it. I'm gonna try not to sit around every day watching movies and listening to music. I gotta say, I'm, joy I'm enjoying the heck out of my room in the basement. It's like, Okay, you're sitting in, in class in school when you're a kid, okay? You're a teenager in, in school, and you're just watching the clock, waiting to get out of there. Waiting to get out of there so you can go and do whatever you want to do. This is me with the room in my basement. I'm just waiting for the day to tick down, as if it's not going fast enough already. I'm, I'm wishing it away so I can get into the evening, and then I can, without, you know being too hard on my conscience, go downstairs and just abandon. Abandon this here. All this reality. And just sink into that. It's lovely. Oh, I wish I had done this, but then I don't know. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be talking now because I'd be down there all the time, completely immersed. Anyway, so that's coming along well. Still not, the room's still not finished. I, I need to do the floor. I have these cheap carpet tiles to put on the floor, but before I do that, I have to sand it. There's some ridges in the um, in the OSB that's on the floor. Uh, this It's gray painted OSB, it's not concrete. And I was gonna paint it again, and then I was gonna put the tiles down. And then eventually the idea is that I would get some good quality laminate flooring and put over the put directly over the carpet tiles, as use the carpet tiles, because they're very thin. They're very cheap, they're very thin. And uh, put that over top as the under, and use that uh, the tiles as the underlayment for it. Okay? So, but that's, you know, that could be years down the road. In the meantime, I, I do need to do that, and I, I still need to do, I'm pointing behind me, because I'd be sitting here, and and behind me would be the diffusers. I got most of them made. I still need to make a couple more for the door that opens up into the room. That door is still not done. I need to get that done. 
right? And I got another video in the works uh, planned for that on doing something else with my subwoofers, which would be interesting. And that's working out really well. So that's good. And that'll be coming up. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll edit that video today and it'll be out on that channel tomorrow. And you can check that out if you're interested. Yes, brother, Hezekiah was afraid of getting his fingers dirty. Morning! Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I got up a little early, so I took the liberty of milking your cow for you. Yeah, it took a little while to get her warmed up. She sure is a stubborn one. Then pow, all at once. We don't have a cow. We have a bull. Ah!